Today, we're going to try something a little bit different. What I want to do is take you guys a little bit more in depth on what I'm thinking as I'm approaching survivors and how I approach the game. Now, this is not going to be like a full gameplay that you watch all the way through. I'm going to try to give you guys some extra tips about how I play with Freddy and what I'm thinking as far as movement and things like that. Now, before we get into it, make sure you guys drop a like. And if this is something you want to see in the future, it's worth trying one time. But if you guys don't like this type of uh, style of gameplay or whatever, just let me know and I won't do these no more. All right, so we're going to be at the Cold Wind Farm. We'll be rocking Corrupt Intervention, Dead Man's Scourge, Pain Renaissance, where you they lose the progression on, on gens and whatnot. And let's go ahead and get it started. So first thing is, as we start this match right here, I'm going to be looking at my Corrupted where it's at looking for a generator that's far away that's not closed in so right here i look left right i see the one that's red right here down the end of the map so i'm going to approach that one looking for survivors along the way because they don't it doesn't mean that they're going to be there it's just that's probably the point of interest right now so as i come here i see someone right here all right so we're coming into a loop we already know that this girl i have the depth on her like i mean i can close the gap real quick she knows that so she's probably gonna pre-drop this pallet. So whenever you're approaching someone like this, don't run toward the pallet. Don't run into the pallet. You're not gonna wanna do that because you're gonna get stunned and they're gonna get distance. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and probably move away. Okay, now I want you guys to know, why does he spin, people? Why does he spin in my gameplay, Survivors? Because I'm hiding my light and I'm moving it away and I'm gaining ground while moving towards you, okay? So people moonwalk, they see the, the light go opposite side like so if i moonwalk backwards my lights that way they can see that i'm moonwalking however if i'm 360 they never know which direction the light's going to be and which way i'm moonwalking so i spin i'll spin right left and that's what we do here we we use the spinning tactics back this way and then she comes across because she is an only better and we get the hit so now we have the hit okay so now what i'm thinking here with this chase is she's gonna vault this window I want to keep her on one portion of the map. I don't want her just going around through the insides of the map. So whenever I take off here, I'm going to keep her on the outside of the map. That's the that's the thinking behind it. This is the focus. This is something that I think you guys need to take a little bit more serious in your gameplays is stay to the I see a survivor there, but it's OK. We're focused on her now. We're like I said, we're, we're turning into her now because we see that we have her pressed against one part of the map. So we're going to come to another pallet. Like I said, she's probably gonna wait at the pallet. So what we wanna do is just approach her and then move away, act like we're gonna come around and then come backwards, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Fake it to the right, come back. She dropped the pallet on the wrong side because she thought I was coming around. Now we just break this pallet with Freddy and then we use the fake pallets right here for a later chase, put her on the hook. Now, the idea is if you're playing in a tournament setting or high MMR, you have to focus your attention on one survivor if you feel like they're going to do a lot of gens fast. Now, right here, I'm here with Dwight. Now, Dwight's going to vault this window and I'm going to attempt the melee. And usually when they do this right here, I usually get the melee. So you have to attempt everything that you can, man, and try to get these. As you see right there, we get the hit on him. Now, you'll see me turn around. I'm looking back toward the hook. I'm looking for anyone to come and save this person so we can continue the chase. And we see someone coming right here for her. We're going to come over here. We're going to get the hit on this girl. And then we continue the chase on this uh, survivor. OK, same thing. You'll saw, you see what I did there. I hid my light going left so it doesn't look like I'm coming around the wall. All right. So pay attention to what I'm doing here. Hide the light. Come back. Look at the wall. And now she's this way. So you're seeing what I'm doing. Let's come back again. Show you guys one more time. All right. So we're going to look left. Come right, look at the wall. Never sees our light. She takes off on the way because she has no idea. Remember, we want to play to this side, trying to keep her from the vaulting side right here. Make sure we get a little, we get the hit that we want. All right, now we check for decisive right now. Immediately, once she gets saved from the hook, we drop her, we pick her up, we check for decisive. She doesn't have it, which means I already know how this game's going to be. The perks are actually working together to get people off generators. You'll see right here, I see someone hurt. Now right here, this girl's gonna try to run away from me. I down her. Now I'm focusing back on the hook. Like I said, you wanna try to maximize your ability. Look, they got him off the hook. Okay, so we're back to focusing. Dwight's gonna try to take the hit. He's gonna try to go down so I get the hook. I'll go ahead and down him too. But remember, we wanna win this game at all costs. 
That's what we're going to do. Survivors do not like this way of playing, but it doesn't matter if you're trying to play competitively. All right, so right here, she's going to pre-drop the pallet. We're going to break the pallet. She's in shambles, and then we're going to use our spinning tactics again to try to gain leverage on her, okay? So right here, go ahead and break this. We're going to spin backwards, come back, spin backwards, come back. And now we can close the gap on her because she's she don't know what to do. She don't know which way we're coming. You know what I mean? And this is how we'll effectively get one survivor out of the game. So I just wanted to share, you know, this gameplay with you guys. Like this portion of it, it, it was a slaughter. They didn't get a gen done because I started alternating survivors. But I wanted to show you guys how I approach uh, loops and what I'm doing. And if you guys want to see more of this style of gameplay, let me know. I'll put it out there for you guys. Uh, we may make this to where, if, you know, give it for members only, these kind of tips. So these may be moved to the member section because in for every map, it's a different situation, different techniques that I use to navigate loops. Drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.